Hi everyone and welcome back to my take on it with your angelic karma. We are live once again. It is Thursday, July 11th. Those of you that want to join with me on the chat, you're most definitely welcome to do so. Let's talk about these protests here. What people are, what not protests, these objections to that one nation, one culture, under the flag, we're all American. I kind of like this protest because it's gonna it it proves my point a little bit. I I, I like this and it's when I was stating when we were looking at what culture and American culture we were doing that distinction of yeah we're all American that's the nationality because we were they're born in the United States but culture is what makes everything cohesive you know it, it is culture that's like American culture and and I made mention of that we know what culture means that includes the traditions the um the behavior, the mannerisms, um, the what is supported is all cohesive. Just like when I live, just like any country in the in the world, it, they have that cohesiveness. Um, one culture that is celebrated, and it's the culture of that country. Unlike the United States, where it's divided among two the countries and, and, and different people, and they're celebrating their culture. You know, and we could say the finances is what brings them all together. And that could be the good part, especially if the American culture isn't what is celebrated by everyone. You have to wonder why, especially when you have people that have close ties to their own country. And I may mention that if something happens in the United States and you have people that can call grandma and grandma's in the other country or have relatives over there. Okay, they have their outlet. They could jet. They could go over there. Anybody else? Um, black American, white American, that you have roots here 200, 300, 500, 600 years, something goes down here in the United States, you're F. You have to find a country to go. You have to learn the language. You have to learn the customs of that country. When you're talking about culture, you're talking about people celebrating the customs and culture of that country. And in the United States, American culture, we from the South look at it as Southern culture. We have a well-developed culture. We have a culture. We have our own food. We have our own um beliefs we have our own music we have our own way of thinking we have our own manners that a lot of people in other parts of the united states they don't like because it's very formal especially with georgia is very formal other southern states we have that formality to it also so we have our own food we have our own dialects we have our own way of speaking now and 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 those types of, of um things so, and that's American culture. And we're not going to be giving up ours, but we are looking at what they're doing with the rest of you and what they will be doing with the rest of you. And listen at what the objections are. And this makes me laugh. It's American culture. And when you bring up food now, you know, and, and that's important because food, it brings people together. Food, that's more, and that's more with women. Because women usually in our cultures, and people holding on to their culture. I see the good part in that also because it takes them out of that American culture of non-traditionalism. Because a lot of these countries that are very traditional countries still. And then the people, they move here, they immigrate here, and they bring those traditions and cultural traditions with them. They want to hold them to their culture. They want to hold them to their traditions. You know, and that could be even regarding relations between men and women. They want to hold on to those cultural traditions. Now, food being very important because women, just like in the South, so just like in the South, women, we rule the kitchen. We're not into that, well, we're equal. And no, we want him out of the kitchen. The kitchen is our domain. We're the one making the magic happen in there with the pots and pans and with cooking. It doesn't mean that men don't know how to cook, but it means that we rule the kitchen as women because we know how to do it better. Like that. Now, overall, it doesn't mean that men don't know how to throw down in the kitchen. But in the South, we know that women are the one we're in there, both elbows in, you know, knee deep, arm deep into the pots, cooking, you know, making the magic happen. And that's our domain. And we're not giving that up either. Now, so is or our culture or our traditions either. Now, people from other countries that have the objections about American culture, you know, they, they talk about the food and they state that. American food, American food tends to be bland. Now, when you talk about American food, because it, 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 and I don't know, I, I, I 
cook. I I grew up on Southern food, and everybody never nobody has ever stated that ours was bland. You know, so it. <laughs> You know, and and those types of things. So they they don't want to pick that up because they feel that well now we're going to be eating bland food because I stated that you'll be eating the food to that region. They're talking about those out of the south. You guys stated yesterday that in the podcast you'll be eating the food in that region. <laughs> They're like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, pledging allegiance to the flag and, and having Thanksgiving dinner there in the 4th of July and celebrating other American traditions. Yeah, but we're drawing the line with the food, your angelic karma. You can say, just, yeah, I celebrate American traditions and all that because you have Southern food and you know how to cook it and you were raised on it. It's tasteful and it's tasty. But us, with our traditions, our culture, we want to hold on to our own food and, and that's the women's domain. The food, the culture, the traditions, and keeping that alive and, and keeping it going. And they're not wanting to give that up for some, you know, something that looks like, well, this d- and tastes like, I don't know what they're stating it tastes like, but it, it's the food, you know, and, and cultures and their food and, and the sabor and the, and the tastiness and that ambience. Because I, me- I mentioned, um, they, they feel that I'm not being fair because I was like, you're going to be in, in American culture and, and uh, in Southern cultures, American culture. But hell, you know, they may not like the South. They like being up there and they know what the food is up there. They're like, well, that's easy for you to say in your angelic coming because you're not going to be having to eat the food of these regions. You're going to be eating Southern food and what you know how to cook. No matter where you go out of the United States, you're going to be bringing that Southern hospitality with you and the food and traditions. And you're right about that, like that. Now, is no matter where I live in this in these um United of States, I'm bringing the South with me like that because it's within me now, and that means in the kitchen too. So they're saying that's easy for me to say, yeah, you're going to be American culture, and it's going to be your region, and you're going to be eating that food. <laughs> it's easy for you to say because you're coming from the South and where the food is good. Okay. You know, you know, I don't know what other regions the food would be. I, I haven't had any food. But they're talking about the United States specifically. They state that the tradition here in the United States is there's a habit of not seasoning the food. That they don't season the food or they under season the food and that the food is bland. They talk about the United States soil specifically in these regions. Well, um, you know, is somebody states that it's because the food is bland and unseasoned because a lot of it comes from the Great Depression area recipes. So if you all are in those types of um, regions and, and you've tasted that type of food where it doesn't have any seasoning in it, you know, or the only season that's been used, some of them state the only season that they're using in these regions is, is salt and black pepper, and that's it. You know, if you're in those types of places, it may be because the, the recipes are coming from the Great Depression. Hell, it may be because the people don't know how to damn cook. I don't know what it is. Now, so, because it, 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 even if the, with the Great Depression, that was a long time ago. Okay, so what about the people that are cooking? And it? it's usually those same people that can't cook They'll be the ones promoting this equality between men and women. No, we don't want the men in the kitchen. We make our magic happen in there like that. He can go sit over there like that. Okay, we're, that's our domain. You know? Now, so it's that. Now, so even if he knows how to cook, yeah, that's great. But usually that's what we're handling that. Now, so it's those types of things. Now, so... The the objections being with American culture, the, the, the first objection has come in. There could be more, but the, the the first one being the food, that's very important. And I want to see it any other way here in the United States with the, the food being important. And other cultures and their food being important, their food being delicious, their food being good, and their food being a part of their tradition, their food being a part of their culture. And I guess they just don't like American food. Well, you know, is because they state it's bland and, and a lot of Americans they can that that they're talking about your food it would be in these regions they well it 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 benefits them to have because these other cultures can bring something different you know than what they're able to cook or what they are able to have the opportunity to taste because we're talking about them being in the United States so other cultures, they do bring a type of sabor. They bring a type of flavor 
not only with food flavor and Savoy, they bring a type of different type of energy. I'm not denying that and saying that that isn't true. Now, so they do bring that. Now, so is, and, and that's why us from the South, we're not going to be giving up our culture to make anybody happy either. Or to appease feel, people's feelings about things that happened in the past that hell we didn't have anything to do with it. We're keeping our culture still and our food and our traditions like that. So is, and we know how to cook. Now, so, and we know that there's seasoning other than salt and pepper. I don't even buy black pepper. I don't even use that. I think that's maybe like a maybe of a more old fashioned like that. So I don't even really buy that. And the only thing that I've ever heard of when I was growing up, the only thing that my mother would use black pepper on is when they were, we were eating cucumbers and they would add vinegar to the cucumbers and black pepper like that. So something like that. So anything else with black pepper, you have a lot more seasonings than black pepper. Now, I also, so a lot of these cultures, they have their food and that's very important. Cooking and the women, the women, you know, even in the country I was in, it was the women that were in the kitchen. Even in the South, it's the women that were in the kitchen. Not that the men can't barbecue and do things on the grill and do things on the stove, but the women encountered that dom domain. Some people, some American people, they that are on these bandwagons about wanting a man to be equal and he could cook too. Some women in these cultures, even in these cultures in the United States on this soil, is that's their domain is the kitchen. Just like with other countries, is their domain. Not that they don't cook together and the men cook, but that's their domain. And their, their first objection is going to be about the kitchen and the food and not liking American food because of the... I don't know why... I don't know what they would be doing. And, and a lot of them want these big, beautiful kitchens, but don't know how to use them. I mean, you have spices, you will be cooking and you will be enjoying it. So that's what it is there. And a woman's kitchen is very important to her because the food. And she is the one, as I stated, making the magic happen in there regarding the food and the flavor and the taste. And loving to provide that and do that for her family. And that being her domain, you know, in the correct type of stove, the right type of kitchen, the right type, correct type of energy, the right, correct type of decorations, the right, correct type of pots and pans. And she's in her glory. And a lot of American women don't like to hear that. And those could be the ones that they can't damn cook. So did and, and they'll be the ones saying, I'll, you know, I don't know. So but these other cultures, that's the women's objections. And they're here in the United States and they want that kitchen and the food and they don't like American food. Now, but the American food would be dependent. The American women are the one that was supposed to be cooking the American food like that. So that goes to show there. So, yeah, with American food. Somebody states parents is the parents. If the parents don't teach you shit, unless you specifically research it into this stuff on the Internet, you're not going to know how to season the food. Their life lessons are more along the line of sit to the side and be quiet. Girl, be quiet. Guy, get a job. Proceeds to bitch about the kids as a conversation topic. They said this is American women with children. I'll, so I'll stick to my microwave meals, bread and cheese. Thank you very much because that's all I was taught. And, and these would be the same women with a um, equal and wanting equal. But they weren't even doing their part in the kitchen. They weren't really doing anything anyway and didn't teach them. That's why they're eating cheese sandwiches, bread sandwiches, bread and microwaving food. And that's why people, when they talk about Amer America's having no culture, that's what they're meaning. Because culture is, is, culture is surrounded by food. That's what it is. When my ex-husband from a different country wasn't born and raised here, I told you all this story some years ago in the podcast, when he first went to Georgia and met my family, the first thing my mother stated is, what does he eat like that? Because food was very important to her like that. And he loved the food. He loved Southern food. Now, so is, that's what the, the kitchen, the food, the obvious, and cultures that come here to the United States. A lot of them aren't fleeing their country because they don't like traditional patriarchal roles. Some of them are coming here because of the money. And the freedom that it offers here also, but they, they're still celebrating their culture. They're still celebrating their own food. They're still celebrating their cultural traditions. They're still celebrating their holiday traditions, even though they're here in the United States. It's that. And that's why this food is an objection and women are using rule the domain of the food and the food is cooked in the kitchen. And that's where they're going to object and draw the line at. They're not going to be giving up that food in their culture's food. And it's the women that you are cooking it. 
you know, so, so that's what it is there. Somebody else states that, um, I'm from the South and I used to get offended when people would say that Americans don't season food. Now, until I went to Minnesota, I don't know what's going on in Minnesota and the food was bland is what they're stating. Where when you're from the South, obviously they're not talking about people from the South, not seasoning the food. Obviously they would talk about how the food may be a bit more healthy, H E F T Y <laughs> healthy in the South. You know, it is that somebody says, I'm going to say something controversial. The only Americans who can cook, a southern country white people in the United States it's actually a controversial comment but it's the truth that's what they're stating so so when they're thinking of so when you all are thinking and because white was brought up so when you all are thinking American culture you're thinking white culture is what you're thinking you're thinking American culture is white culture. So you're, you're not thinking that um, is American culture. Like when we say Southern culture and Southern traditions, traditions and culture includes the food. And a lot of American people, they think that they, a lot of American people, some of them, the younger ones are saying that it's boring, that American culture is boring. So they like other cultures. They like that other cultures here in the United States because oh, American culture is boring and the food is bland. They're agreeing and the culture is boring, but they're young. Just like the young ones stated, they're sticking to their microwave food and their cheese sandwiches. Because the parent, all she was doing was complaining about the children and not teaching you about that. You know, and and with the girls sitting and being quiet, well, and the boy working, well, we're from the South and we had that, in Georgia, we had the tradition was that a, a young lady, and that's what the men called you in, in, in Georgia, a young lady. Now, even while you're an adult, young, a young lady was a young lady. And we like being in the position of young lady because we were young ladies like that. So is, and the men were encouraged to work, but the women were still taught, not even taught, you just grow up seeing it and you are you are um, intrigued by it. We, you, you like it. You're put towards it. And it doesn't mean that you won't go out and work and have goals and aspirations and dreams, but it's still the kitchen and cooking and making the magic happen and loving the role as a woman. Loving the man's role also and loving the role as a woman. And what a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of these people from these countries and these cultures that come here that are different in the United States, they come from, from all these countries are traditional. The majority of them, where people migrate, immigrate here to the United States, come from traditional countries. And they're not fleeing it for that. Or they will flee it, and they'll be celebrating American culture, and that's it. They bring their own culture, they bring their own customs, and it has a male-female role in it. A family, traditional family role. It's just within their own country or custom. And sometimes those roles can be stricter than here in the United States. And the objection being about the food... That shows you that in the woman's domain, in that kitchen, the kitchen, not that her only put out there's places in the kitchen is just, that's where she looks at. That's where her magic happens at. And that's what a part of the culture that they're not willing to give up either the food. Cause that's what's for the family. That's when you're celebrating culture, when you're celebrating cultural events is surrounded by the food and the woman is in there making that magic happen and loving it. Cause she's doing it for her family. And her friends and they take it seriously. That's why they're good cooks. And that's why uh, other food, international food is so good. Like that. So even when they're, some of them stating that white Americans don't, white people don't um, season their food. They're talking about white American. Because they're talking about this um, American culture. Maybe they don't season it because they don't like being in the kitchen. They, it, maybe it's those types and they don't enjoy that and when you enjoy it you're experimenting you're learning from your mother you learn from your mother you learn from your grandparents and you're experimenting you love the kitchen you love doing it because you're doing it for your family and it is coming from heart that's culture i know what culture i'm from the south we know what culture is now culture from the heart in the kitchen from the heart making their meal 
and a lot goes into it. Seasoning also and heart. Now I'm going to tell you about my ex-husband and damn seasoning. Now he's from, he is Hispanic. I had to teach him there's more to seasoning than spice. It doesn't have to be hot for it to be seasoning. Sometimes all that hot and heat takes the flavor away like that. I'm like, I can't taste anything. I'll just taste heat. That's not seasoning either like that. It's like if I put something in my mouth and the only time thing I could taste is heat and I can't even taste the damn meat. It's like, okay, that's that. that no, no, no. That's not. Let me teach you something. I had to teach him too like that. So is is that? Yeah, we like it spicy, but you know, there's more to the heat than peppers. Like there's more to spice than peppers too. You know, there's there's more to it. So other people's culture welcome ours also, and there's nobody that said anybody from the South can't cook like that. We could throw down. We're the ones here cooking in the United States now. So this is what cooking was created in the South, despite the race. And in 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 the South, the white ones could cook too like that because they were eating the same food, and you can't take anything out of the ingredients. And you're cooking from heart, and you're cooking from spice, and you're cooking by flavor. Nobody knows what a damn measuring cup is. What is a me you're you're measuring it by how you feel about it. If you see somebody laying out measuring cups, and you already know they don't know how to cook, it's like it's you're going by what you feel how much flavor needs to be in here and it's is is flavorful and it's good now what they do need to do is with the south and i'm going to say this it is not always damn healthy but it's damn good like that is good so it is that but i was raised and born and raised on it and never gained weight on it and that's what i cook because that's all i know how to cook like that so is and this was tastes good i've never eaten eaten um anybody else's uh, home cooking other than when I was out of the country. Any home cooking I ate out, it was in the South. Anything else, I've gone to restaurants and things like that. So that's what it is. So a lot of these cultures, they want to hold on to their culture. They hold on to their traditions. Their traditions are quite traditional, you know, male, female roles and things like that. More so than in the United States, the male, female role was. And they hold on to those traditions. They celebrate those cultures. They're not just celebrating the holidays. They're celebrating the culture and living through those cultures in their um, home life also. You know, and those types of things. So that's when you, when, when you say that one nation um, under the flag in, in one culture, for our, a lot, they look at American culture and they see it as very bland. And culture is a part of the food, you know, and, and, and food has to do with women because women are the ones that... Um, bring that heart into the kitchen heart into the kitchen and you taste it within the food like that and they're serious about it exactly i had never heard about that great depression but hell that was a long time ago talking about a great depression and and and, and cooking by recipe and things like that and ingredients is in measuring cups is like that we we'll do that when we're looking at a recipe of grandparent or parent and we're going by the recipe and we're measuring it out usually when you grew up around grew up traditional and your mama liked it you would have picked that energetic vibration up of liking and doing your thing in the kitchen also like that so it's like you're going by what you're feeling when you're cooking is it, that's the heart in it in the 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 traditions that are celebrated, the culture that is celebrated is surrounding the food and the food is very tasty. It's very good. Now, it is very tasty. It's very good. The country I was living in, everything was celebrated right from the South. I think that's why me and my ex-husband got along well because the, the Southern culture was similar to his, his um, country's culture. A lot of these people that come to the United States, the cultures are, are traditional cultures. That's why they hold on to their culture and they're celebrating it. They're not integrating completely into American culture because they want to hold on to culture. If they didn't like their culture and they had flee here for freedom, you wouldn't see anything celebrated but American culture. That's it. Like that, they, and culture is your food. Culture is your way of thinking. Culture is your beliefs. Culture is your way of doing things. Culture is your language. Culture is your dialect. Like that. Culture is your mode of operating. 
and family, and, and these people can be quite family oriented. And family is uh, majority of them are quite family oriented. We have Hispanics as the largest minority here in the United States, um, and they're very family oriented. And the old, those are the ones that usually immigrate here also. Very family oriented. And family is surrounded by kitchen and food. And mother. And grandmother. That. And celebrating that. So I get it. I'm from the South. So when I say that um, Southern culture is American culture. Well, for us, because remember, with my small town, you were white or you were black, and that was an American, because that's what I was there. So they were under the same culture, and the food was the same, the traditions was the same, the belief was the same, the mode of operating was the same, like that. So that's American culture. So Southern culture is American culture. You know, it is that. Now, these other regions, these other places, and them not knowing how to damn cook, that food being bland, those would be deal breakers for me. And all that type of stuff, that's and you all having that you taking that as that being American culture, and that's the objection is the food is the first objection. I could understand your part, I could understand your point because these people we can't say that these people from these other countries that immigrate here, these new cultures, these people, and they bring their culture and their food. We can't say that that doesn't bring a little bit of sabor, not only flavor, but sabor and interest. And, and, and something a little bit different here in the United States or we would be just left with bland food by women that don't like even being in the kitchen and that don't like traditional relationships and then that would be the culture if that's not the type of damn culture we're talking about celebrating in the flat that we're under not that not that not that not that we're not talking about celebrating that type of American culture not that so the, the objection is the food. That's the first objection. And people celebrating in the kitchen and things like that is, is those types of things. Um, is, is that so I, and that being very important to, to people still from other countries in their traditions and people say, and even American, the young people that say, well, well, American culture is boring. Well, it's because um, other cultures that come to the United States and they hold on to their culture, the women are the ones that hold on to the culture. They, how I came on here saying, well, we're going to be holding on to our Southern culture and we don't care if you all don't have one, you're not going to be taking ours like that. Okay, so that's the women. We hold on to the culture, the belief, the tradition, the ways. That's important to us. That's the cooking, the food, the celebration, the keeping that up. So if you think if you're American and you think and you're white and you're young and you think American culture is boring is because like the person stated, if they don't teach you shit, maybe they will. Your parents will focus on getting away from men or being equal to them or whatever, whatever, as opposed to being a partner with them and, and focus on the heart. And, and for a lot of cultures, majority of cultures with women, it comes is in the kitchen and things like that and, and those types of things. So is, and those women can go out and do whatever they want to do in the world. And they come here to the United States to do it. And or they do it in their own countries also. So is, if you think your culture is boring because of that, if you think American culture and, and that, and you think about that, when you think about American culture and you're white and you're young and you think, well, it's boring, it's bland. Just like people from other cultures think in American culture, hell no, because their food is going to be bland. No, no, that's women object. And the women are the rulers and hold on to the culture. Just like the Georgia peaches we do. Okay. We rule that. And the men have to follow in line with it. We rule that. We're holding on to that. Like that. Now, and we're not. And we're, we're cementing in it. And not changing it. And not giving it up. Like that. Okay. That's how women from other cultures are. Also, they continue the culture. Even though they want to expand financially. It's the financial expansion that the United States can provide. But they continue with the culture. Like that. That's why they celebrate their culture traditions here. Their holidays, their food, and things like that. Us from the South, ours is American culture, and we hold on to it too, and we celebrate those types of things. Now, um, in the food and the tradition, and we keep that going. And even when white people from the South go up north and in other parts of the United States, the first thing they complain about is the food and it being bland too, and not liking it because they come from a different culture. 
the men and the women complain about it because they come from and they know how to cook everybody because what else would they be cooking if you're in the south you're cooking southern food and there's only one way to cook it and it's all tasty you can add a little twist to it there but it is is southern is what it is so that's the first objection coming in and i understand that completely until next time thanks for listening bye